Just then, Mike, thank you. New tonight, the man charged with killing a South Florida woman nearly 40 years ago pleads guilty to manslaughter and is now out of jail. Ralph Williams was released Tuesday. He killed the victim in 1983. Carla Lowell was brutally beaten and run over while she waited for an Amtrak train. Williams was arrested last year after new DNA technology allowed investigators to pull a fingerprint from evidence found at the scene. Williams was sentenced to 365 days in jail, one year and 10 years of probation, but released for time served. Tonight, six French Bulldogs, five that you see on your screen right now, are in safe hands. The pups were stolen from a home in Port St. Lucie earlier this month. But the search is still going on for 13 more dogs taken in that burglary, even with several suspects now in custody. Ari Haidt is here with more details and why investigators say this crime is part of a trend. Ari? Uh, definitely part of a trend. Police say stealing puppies is actually becoming more common because depending on the breed, they can be worth an awful lot of money. Detectives say that was the case here, and fortunately, an anonymous tip led them to their suspects. Now they're hoping more tips can lead them to those pups that are still missing. Five French Bulldog puppies, one adult, all back home now, returned to their owners in Port St. Lucie. They're ecstatic. They came out in the middle of the night to pick them up. The six dogs were among 19 dogs stolen from a home on Southwest Fenway Road on November 4th. The other 13 pups are still missing. This security video shows you exactly what happened. A silver four-door vehicle had backed up alongside the victim's home, smashed a window, made an entry, and stolen the dogs. And police say these four people are responsible. Lawrence Mitchell, Destiny Del Campo, Jordan Brown, and Cynthia Galarza. Police say at least one of them knew the owners, knew they were breeders, and knew where they lived. And they didn't steal the pups because of how cute they are. Uh, they're quite valuable, actually. Some of them go in excess of $20,000, depending on their attributes. Police believe their suspects had already sold 13 of the dogs, and now detectives are trying to track down those pups, encouraged that they were able to return six of them. It's more fun to find stolen puppies than a stolen bracelet, that's for sure. And police are now asking if you recently bought a French bulldog from one of those suspects, well, please call police, and detectives want to return those pups to their rightful owners. One more thing, police say this investigation isn't over yet. More arrests could be coming. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.